So today we have an interesting story of how a prison inmate is now one of the newest developers helping to create the Terso database. The developer in question is Preston Thorpe. His story starts back around 2005 to 2009. In his own words, he was a stupid teenage computer geek that while in high school he was in the wares and torrent scenes, downloading and uploading copyrighted files. Eventually he was kicked out of his parents' house and ended up broken homeless for a bit. He came back to his parents apologetic as he was sure that was part of their plan. After coming back home, Preston got involved in the pre-Silk Road and dark web internet, buying and selling drugs, where he was making tens of thousands of dollars a week. At the age of 20, Preston was arrested for the first time. He was caught with MDMA coming in the mail from Vancouver and some marijuana coming from California. He served a short sentence and was released. Later, when Preston was age 25, he was sentenced by the Hillsborough County Superior Court of New Hampshire to 15 to 30 years for possession of a controlled drug known as U47700 with the intent to distribute. U47700 is a synthetic opioid that is classified as a Schedule 1 drug. Though he's currently incarcerated at the Mountain View Correctional Facility in Charleston, Maine, Maine, unlike many prison, had a lot of opportunities for Preston, including things such as actually having internet, options for college enrollment, and a corrections remote work program. Through these programs, Preston was able to study and work on various projects and systems. Eventually, Preston discovered Project Limbo, an effort by Terso Tech to rewrite the SQLite database from scratch. Since there wasn't a whole lot to do while in prison and the project by Terso was still young, there was lots of low-hanging fruit for Preston to tackle and cut his teeth on. Eventually, Preston's work on the project led to Terso Tech offering him a job, which he has accepted. Preston is still in prison but has a paid salary minus a small but very reasonable cut that prison takes and no healthcare benefits, according to the CEO of Terso. Let's hope for all the best for both Preston and the new database Terso Tech is creating.